Baltimore City's top cop resigns in the face of federal tax charges. Daryl D'Souza was on the job for only 76 days, and now the search begins for a replacement. WJZ is following this unfolding story tonight. We start with Rick Ritter, who has more on D'Souza's decision to leave the department. Rick. Well, Vic, there's no sugarcoating this. City leaders are calling it a major setback. They say it's a disappointment and embarrassing for all of Baltimore. Look, this is a guy that many people believed in. They thought D'Souza was making significant progress. But now for the second time in just months, the search is on for another commissioner. A punch in the gut for Baltimore City. Two and a half months after being sworn in. Congratulations. Daryl D'Souza is out as police commissioner. It's sad for him. It's sad for the city. It's a, it's a distraction away from what we need right now. The move comes just days after D'Souza was hit with federal charges for failing to file his taxes for three straight years. That led to a public apology, followed by a suspension, and now his resignation. WJZ, the only station to track down Mayor Catherine Pugh, who initially expressed her continued support for the city's Mayor, top how you top. doing? Can we get your thoughts on the commissioner's resignation? I've accepted his resignation. I'm running late. I've accepted his resignation. Were you surprised? Um, there were a lot of surprises. D'Souza climbed the ranks after joining BPD 30 years ago, taking over for former Commissioner Kevin Davis, who was fired in January. He took over a department plagued by corruption and a city grappling with consistent gun violence. I think that we had it going in the right direction. We had someone that understands the city in its totality. Councilman Brandon Scott points to the vetting process. The mayor's office has to do that kind of stuff. They should be doing full-fledged background checks as if that person were running for president and that did not happen. Scott added the structure of the department is broken and the city needs to learn from this mistake. We should be saying that we don't want to approve a new person until they commit to structural change, until they commit to making it a local agency, until they commit to having a board of, with civilian oversight. One that's in desperate need of stability with nine police commissioners since 2000 alone. And the mayor says a national search is now underway. Gary Tuggle, he will serve as the interim commissioner. The FOP, they put out a statement today saying they hope the mayor finds a replacement quickly, adding that their members deserve consistency in their leadership. Mary, back to you. Rick, thank you.